This is not the first time the Guam Department of Education has requested for an extension in order to obligate $60 million in stimulus money to improve the state of the island's school facilities. According to Governor Eddie Calvo's education liaison, Vince well, we Leon Guerrero, sure history is repeating itself. Plan. Early in the Calvo administration, GDOE-era money was salvaged and used to pay salaries on the condition that activities that were supposed to be funded by ERA would be funded out of a trust account. It was earlier this year GDOE made a second request to the governor, who hesitated. Leon Guerrero says Calvo wanted to give GDOE further opportunities to push through with spending. Governor doesn't like requesting for additional extensions. I mean, you know, if you ask the governor's office to request for extensions, it just doesn't look good that we can't do the job within the time frame that was originally envisioned. We went to bat for Guam DOE and we asked for a year's extension. And despite that year's extension, here we are again at the cusp of the expiration of that deadline, being almost forced to, uh, to salvage it by asking for another additional extension. The clock is ticking with only six weeks until the start of classes and 12 until the era money expires. The governor's office is working with new GDOE Superintendent John Fernandez to have a request for an extension ready for USDOE by the end of this week. Leon Guerrero says if granted the extension, there may be a chance that the science, technology, engineering and math renovations at George Washington High School could be delayed until next summer. Delays in design, completion and procurement kept work from occurring over the summer months. To make the era's September deadline, the construction must be done simultaneously with the start of the school year, taking 17 classrooms offline in order for renovations to occur. GW faculty and staff met Monday to discuss options for the upcoming school year, including a ninth grade academy that attends classes at the Interim Onslaught Middle School in Teton, or had the Mangilao school double session with itself. What if we got an extension? Would that allow them to push it back? Um, that's a conversation that I think uh, would be interesting for uh, folks to consider. A stakeholders meeting for GW parents and students is scheduled for Wednesday, July 11th at 5.30 p.m. in the school gym.